what's up everybody, it's Chris Wicks. Listen, I hope you liked my last video. I know I didn't have much stuff to give away, but at least it's a giveaway, so go check it out. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some, uh, well, almost halfway through the bottle. I got some vape mail from MF and Donut. They had a special, it was uh, pay for shipping and get a free 30 mil bottle. So, I supported them, I thought it was a good deal. Uh, it showed up, arrived on time, no problems. Their bottles and labels are legit. Now listen, when I first tried this, I almost, uh, well, I almost didn't review it. Because when I first tried it, it tastes like wallpaper paste. Well, I'm just being honest with you, it came off like wallpaper paste. It was just, right? Right? It came off like wallpaper paste, and I was halfway through my review, and I felt like I was really going nowhere with it. So I put it aside for at least a week, three, four days. I thought, oh, maybe I'll come back to it. So uh, I switched out gear, okay? I put it in this fresh, because I originally tried it on one of those blinky, non-blinky box mods that I own, and I'm just kind of over those things. They're kind of pretendica. They're, they're like tube mods that act like box mods, not what I'm looking for. So, yeah, I got three of those sitting around not even being used. Thought I'd use them a lot more. They're just not pushing the power that I'd like. I'm really addicted to my Segeli. This um, IBV Mini, I think I'm liking non-mechanical, regulated. Stuff with robots in it that controls everything. It just works out better for me, and I'm thinking about picking up an extra Segeli. Back to the juice. It tastes like wallpaper paste. And I didn't know if it was me or my mod. So what did I do? I put it on a fresh build. I stuck it at 30 watts. Well, okay, 28.5. We'll kick it down to 28.5. I stuck it at 30 watts. And that's when it started to come out good. Come out good. What do you do after you try a juice and you don't like it? You put it aside for a while and you hope that later you'll fall in love with it. Well, I put it aside. We'll call this halfway through the bottle. We're three quarters through the bottle. Whatever. Who's splitting hairs? Halfway through the bottles, halfway through the bottle. I put it aside. Um, why am I liking it now? What am I doing different than I didn't do before? Sometimes you gotta try different mods. Sometimes you gotta try different voltage and wattage and this and that and the other. And sometimes your playlists don't automatically play and decide to play ads. Instead, you can't always control everything. That's my point. So I switched it over to this one, and I got it nice and gooey and nice and gummy. And, uh, MF and Donut, man. Let's get right to it. Smells great. Um, you're getting that donut. I mean, we're talking Ariana Grande donut quality here. Ariana Grande, if you're looking at this video, you're going to love this juice. You could lick as many donuts as you want, but if you're vaping this, I know you'll vape it to the end of the bottle. I mean, it really is covering like a, just a generic glazed donut. You're getting a little bit of that wallpaper paste come through, but that's the nature of uh, the donut. I mean, it's got that glaze on it, unless the glaze is heated up enough. I think that's what was happening is the mod just wasn't kicking out enough power to get the right taste. Uh, right around 28, 5, 30 watts, that's where you're going to want to be with this device. Um, I have it set at 28.5. Let me crank it up to 30. I would start at 28.5, go around 30 for MF and Donut. This is 3 milligram. Uh, it's got all the warning labels you need. Very proper labeling. Glazed. Nice glaze MF, MF and Donut. So, um, I'm doing a new review. My first review I didn't like. This MF and Donut is actually turning into something that I've been kind of vaping in between my other vanilla because it's just really good and I only got a 30 got mil some air in here so to mix around. Maybe it just didn't mix right when I shook it, you know? And that can happen from time to time. So don't always take my reviews as like a be all end all. These are just my opinions, but I, I want you to know you might go through some similar kind of problems with juice like I did where the taste isn't there. Maybe you didn't shake it enough. Maybe there just wasn't enough air in the bottle to aerate it. So these are all things as a reviewer, you know, you take heat. You got to sometimes come back to it and check it out. And that's what I'm doing here. MF and Donut, you guys are doing a good job. I think, you know, with juice made on such a heavy order like that with the whole get a free bottle if you pay for shipping. It's going to be freshly made. You're going to have to let it steep. Maybe you just need to get air in it. Maybe you just needed another mod to try it out. So, 
you know, I honestly think that this is good juice. It just took me a while to get to it. So don't be afraid to try your juice again in a different box, a different mod, a different Addy, different battery. These are all irrelevant, you know, and you're going to have to find what works for you. But at 30 watts, you're getting the heat to heat up that glaze to balance out right. So 30 watts and up, you're good to go. This is about a half ohm, maybe 0.6 ohm coil. And you're just tasting it on your lips. You just want to lick your lips the whole time. If you want to lick donuts, this is your best way to do it, you guys. Uh, MF and donut. It's MF and good. Uh, just took me an MF and long time to figure out what I wanted to do with it and what to vape it in. 30 watts, half an ohm or bigger or lower, whatever you want to do. Give it some power. Get enough to heat that glaze up to give you that glaze. This button's kind of jacked now, but... It's just really good. That glaze sits on your lips a little bit. It's really worth vaping. I would check it out. Just give it some steep time. Make sure you shake it up real good. And uh, try it in a couple different devices. I know you'll find out what you like and what you don't. This is Chris Wicks. Just a quick eight minute review on MF and Donut. Give them a check see. I'll put their info below so you can order from them. And uh, follow them on Facebook, of course. You know, Love you guys. Thanks so much. Be good humans. That's it. I mean, I could repeat myself two or three, four times of the same stuff I already said, like I just did, which is usually the case with my reviews, so you know you could skip around. Chris Wicks here. Be safe.